Having access to all pages in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad is actually a bug. I found this interesting article today and Peter Chamberlain, who is the DaVinci Resolve product manager, made a comment about this hack. Allowing these pages to be seen is a bug and it shouldn't have not been possible. So I was going through this site here. This is actually an article still from 30th of December 2022 and he was just basically explaining how you can unlock all the pages and stuff, blah, blah, blah. So Peter Chamberlain is the product manager of DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic and I found the forum post, which is basically here on on the Blackmagic forum, someone was asking about why are those pages hidden, and he made a nice comment about this and explaining it. And also here, this is the this is the comment. So allowing these pages to be seen is a bug, and it should not have been possible. What an amazing bug to find! <laughs> Thank you. It's an interesting demonstration that shows DaVinci on the iPad is the full DaVinci software, but with these pages turned off. The reason is there is some problems with the user interface on these pages where we need to make more changes changes for using them on the iPad. Plus, there are technical limitations in the way these pages operate on the iPad. We need more time to get them working and adopt them to some of the new Apple frameworks, etc. We will continue to work on that, but we don't know exactly how long it will take. So why am I sharing this with you? We have now two updates where they could have removed it. It still may be possible that they will remove it because it's just a bug, right? But at the same time, he also talks about that we will get eventually DaVinci Resolve off completely on the iPad. And this is exactly what I was always talking about here on my channel in the last couple of days. They are in the middle of the process of working on all of those stuff. It's not as simple as just taking one software from that platform and applying it on that platform. Even if your software in itself is actually working, he talked about the frameworks, for example. So it could be that there are some limitations that the iPad has. These limitations we don't have with Windows and Mac, but we have it now on the iPad. And some of the functions need those frameworks. They are not available here. I hope that we keep the pages, but after reading this, and this is why I'm sharing that to you, it's also possible that we don't know how long it will take until they finish all of the, all the other pages. It's technically possible that with the next update, we lose the access to those pages. But I wanna bring in one more thing. We have major companies now, like for example, Motion VFX that used their plugins and they work on the iPad version. So for example, if you take away the ability to modify and to work on some of those fusion plugins that also means it would be very hard to modify and see the stuff so I think the better way would actually be to just keep the pages hidden for the people who like you should focus on the pages who are available but have them access for the people who try to get and push the boundaries of the possibilities right now so that they can see and access and do stuff right exactly the same thing what I now did like my transition pack is completely built in the fusion tab from DaVinci Resolve so if they take this away then yeah it would be very sad but on the other side, it's also just a matter of time when they will actually make those pages available to all of us. And also, thank you, Peter, that you responded in the forum and explaining some of the stuff. We are looking forward for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I'm already a huge fan. You can obviously tell because I'm making lots of videos about that, but I'm stoked about the future and about the direction we are going here. So thank you. I'm Daniel. See you in the next video. Bye.